So let's begin. Uh, we had a great result last time out in Belgium. We finished second and fourth, and we could have won it nearly. Okay, uh, crash was stronger safety precautions. No, it was fine. Okay, so let's check what the interview was about. I claim that your engine seems to me. Yeah. Oh man, oh man, we hurt our marketability. Yeah, we can't really. Let's see. Uh, when we broke previous pits up, we broke our pits up record. Wow. Mistake free weekend, so that's best weekend. Okay, so let's see if anybody's extra tired. Uh, let's see. 66, 61, 64. Every lowest is 61. And this guy is Mag, Mag. Mog is tired. He's the these guys have made mistakes. Does that mean they are more likely to make mistakes? Okay, let's get this guy. He's fresh now, fully recovered. So let's swap him with Mog. And do we have anybody else on the tires who's a bit fresher? This guy's seventy-five. Yeah. So let's swap him for Lee Buffer and how are the jack guys so there's a jack guy who is 61 and 66 uh 61 he's also 61 okay do we need to hire anybody else uh let's see 17 17 18 18 on fixing 90 stamina 99 stamina but this guy is good on the jacks he's not really good at anything else what i would like to get is somebody with a lot of stamina but also somebody who can do two rolls i mean i count the two jacks as one roll basically so he would be a specialist jack man jack man and uh, yeah let's hire this guy he's not expensive and he's got a lot of stamina and he's good at fixing but yeah he's only good at fixing how are we for fixing? Uh, yeah, our fixing guys are not really used that much. Uh, see, this guy is. Yeah, we don't really need another fixing guy. Mm. Yeah, I think for now we are fine. We'll we'll not hire anymore. In fact, we should probably get rid of someone, somebody with low stamina. See, who has the lowest stamina? Hagman. But Hagman has got two strong roles he's also made two mistakes so he's good on the tires and fixing so if he can get another guy good at tires and probably the jack or something okay okay for now we'll just keep it as it is mail let's see car repair finished good job oh yeah we have to look at the sponsor situation Mac merchandising okay okay we are doing fine a drink company has approached us with a new idea they want to create a hilarious little plastic figure of cristiano and ship him with every crate sold it might not be the most ethical money we've ever made but this sure a lot of it one million his morale goes down chairman's happiness goes down uh, it wouldn't be right come on it would be right come on Okay, let's just look at the sponsors first and then we'll decide if it's ethical or not. Okay, hang on. So we needed Cortez tires, so we need good money. No, Kashima is the best. We lose 100 grand. Not nice. We do need that million now. Okay, Ishikawa. So these guys are pretty useless because, yeah, we'll just take the million up front. and slot one we need somebody here that would pay us well 11th or above yeah this is the best we can hope for uh yeah they pay us the most so we'll have to make up that 100 grand through the races so now the question is do we take that opportunity how is his morale right now he should be up morale morale where is the morale how do we see the morale 
hundred percent okay I think we can manage and what is the boss's morale like so boss would lose a bit of morale and Cristiano no that's just me that's the boss yeah I think we can risk it maybe not ethical but catching and he likes the money making yeah obviously he won't lose the morale for that okay uh prepare a brief report phoenix 28 lap race 3.5 miles 119 yes. the race should be bone dry high speed circuit strong engines oh we don't have a strong one tire compound medium hard okay we need good front wing good rear wing and good engine okay helipad um why did you mention the helipad? We already have a helipad. So telemetry center will be done in 15 weeks. Handling. Improve the cornering and smoothness. So we should probably target handling next. Get these smaller buildings out of the way. Because this design center, that's 35 million. That, that will require us to have a season like this. Like save money on the car and try to maximize yeah it's not easy building that our sponsors are the worst on the grid now eighth it's pretty bad problem is if we go for people who pay us only for finishing first and second we'll never make any money in the race but we need the better quality sponsors if we are to hmm. anyway financial management concern yeah we are fine don't worry about it okay let's check the mail spec suspension systems on the agenda for gma the 10 team principles for the we need next week the potential rule changes uh, gma sub suspension so let's see how our suspension looks not particularly great sixth but the thing is as the top tier shouldn't we be always trying to make our own things like instead of using spec parts i shouldn't be yeah, we should develop our own things that should be the objective with the top tier so yeah i'll probably refrain from voting but i haven't voted on anything this season okay on to phoenix yeah we'll select 11th or above we should hopefully finish 11th or above we are in bad shape financially let's see cost per race we are losing eight thousand per race uh i guess that's manageable because if we do finish well we can hmm. eight thousand so if we do get our objective we'll get 292 thousand so that's good tire wear is very high here fuel burn is low so if tire wear is high we should focus more on the harder tire say let's say we do two stints on the hard tire we might struggle to even do that with cristiano so we would definitely need at least two sets of hards for the race probably one set of medium just in case and two sets of softs why don't we get another set of softs just in case he has to stop twice and we need to dash for a few laps we could use the softer tire with surikov i think he should be able to do two stints on the hard and uh, okay parts are fine i guess hmm we had a good result in belgium so if we can just do what we have been doing so far like stay ahead of the panthers and the Kitano racing team we should be comfortable this is a bone dry track so i think the rossinis and the steinmans will just run away as usual but we got ahead of them in the last race that was excellent and we have to improve uh, cristiano's smoothness yeah i was planning on initially bringing in marlene at this race but because cristiano had a great result last time 
I think I'll stick with him because he's a better driver, but uh, Okay, feedback is 19. I think it's because it's a home race. Okay, let's do the weight stripping first. So suspension will go 60 Gearbox will go 60 Rear wing is crucial. So we'll stick at 75 brakes will go to 60 engine will stay at 75 and front wing 75 60 60 on the thingy 75 60 75 75 again so almost similar not almost exactly similar and we are getting more performance out of Marlene's car for some reason oh we haven't selected the other car okay why does it not select both the drivers we have to do this again oh okay so 60 60 75 60 75 so, oh, sorry, so let's see if we apply the same yeah exactly let's make sure it's not messed up 75 75 75 60 60 60 okay okay that's good let's look at the setups really quickly so tire we go with the hard tire so 16 to 18 so if you can do 14 a piece you should to be able to do two stints uh okay this is a bit tricky with that horn sticking out in the middle i think low down force maybe not that low but slightly i mean towards the middle handling should be on the understeer side and speed balance i think overall should be on the longer side not sure about this marlene come on marlene this is your home race tell us about this track okay yeah 18 to 20 so if they can do if she can do no she's not racing uh, surikov let's say surikov does 16 laps that's another 12 laps can he do soft probably not i'll have to go medium okay guys so i'll do practice and i will catch up after practice welcome back practice done um not the greatest session but we managed to get two grades and an excellent on both the cars and level three is on the soft and hard tires so uh the last one maybe we can tweak a bit in the first qualifying attempt uh yeah the gearing was excellent but it went off on marlene's car hmm, let's see qualifying soft tire qualifying soft tire see i'll show you what i mean we have two grades and an excellent we had two excellents here and a good so if you see it can't really it's a very very minor difference here so if we can just bring it back a bit that should hopefully be enough to get two excellence and a great okay with him um, it's nothing we can do here to improve things uh, should we try to change anything because it just throws off the other thing so yeah we'll stick with this this is okay yeah okay let's head to quali hmm. the laps are not particularly long here about 118 120 so i will go at 7 40 okay Yeah, I don't really know what would be a good finish here. 
Yeah, if we can stick to our fifth and sixth, if we can do that in quali, that would be a good result. Because I don't think we have the car for this track because we, our engine isn't good. And this is a track that demands a good engine. So even some teams behind us, Rezato, Corsa and Vincer, they might would be okay. So. Surikov mm, always seems to have somebody ahead of him. Yeah. The Cristiano at least has a clear track. 1.4 of the piss. Ooh. Yeah, the engine is starting to struggle. Have you done, Cristiano? He's gone faster. Wow, significantly faster. So I'm guessing he was really stuck in traffic there. So we go if we need a good lap, buddy. So when should we send him? We'll send him out in around two minutes. I think we need to somehow send him out in some clear track. Come on Surikov, we need a good lap. Okay, let's go. Hopefully he shouldn't run into anyone at the start. But you never know. I don't see anybody coming out of the pits now, so I think he should have a clear track. Yes. And Cristiano also seems to have a clear track. Come on. Good good lap time needed here, Surikov. Come on, buddy. Cristiano is improving, Surikov is improving. And let's see. Final sector. We need inside the top 10, please. Good job. 8th place. And Cristiano. Okay, he hasn't improved. So 8 and 9. Okay, I guess it's not too bad. But we've got... Bergman, Liponen, Hashimoto, our three main rivals ahead of us. That is not good. Only Edu is behind us. So not a good qualifying session in that regard. Yeah, people like Hashimoto are very good, but as always, they are not good on their tires. So let's save the quali. I think we forgot to save the practice. Okay, on to the race. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, it's no rain here. So it's not even a consideration. So yeah, two sets of hard tires, two stints on the hard for Cristiano. And perhaps one hard, one soft for Surikov. What the hell happened? Oh, got messed up. Two grades and excellent. Okay, so this became excellent and that became worse. Okay, it doesn't matter either way. Uh, start off with the hard tire. And if we can get 17, we could try... No, he won't be able to do 11. We'll have to go medium. If we are lucky, we can do medium. Otherwise, it's too hard. And for Cristiano... Yeah... 16 I would love it if he can do 16 if he can do 15 that would make my life a lot easier even 14 would be fine so as far as I remember it's hard on the tires and low on the fuel so push on the fuel don't push on the tire no it's the opposite push on the fuel don't push on the tire okay here we go yeah, the problem is at the start, everybody on the softer tire will get ahead of us. Okay, people behind us are about the same. Only Edu is the one we need to worry about. Okay, let's see. Ooh! Careful, careful. Yeah, people are getting ahead of us. We are 
struggling. 11 and 13. At least don't let people on the harder tires get past you. Lundquist is challenging. Come on, go on the inside. Good job, good job. Brilliant move. Let's get ahead of these resort of courses. DeWolf. Yeah, get past old man DeWolf. He's supposedly like about to retire or something. No, that was Parsani. Oh, where is Parsani anyway? Yeah, Parsani is not on track. So 11 and 13 it is. Fuel is supposedly... I thought this track wasn't hard on the fuel. Okay, let's just wait a bit. We need to get the temps up, but I don't want to push it because we fin struggle to finish otherwise. Yeah, our main chance here is if everybody else pits a bit more than us, like, like last season, we managed to win the race with Surikov by not pitting twice. But obviously, we had a better car last year. Okay, he's holding off Lundquist. And we are still on target. Oh no. We are outside the objective now. Come on buddy, get past Lundquist. Okay, use some engine then. Turn up the engines, temperatures are ideal on the tires. Be careful, Surikov is all over you. Yeah, I'm not using team orders these days. But Surikov does look faster here. Come on. Okay, somebody has pitted Hashimoto. Yeah, Hashimoto is the first one to pit. Yeah, we need to get past De Wolf, Lundquist, Schmidt. These people are messing up our strategy here. They should, they should not have passed us. Yeah, this is a not good, not a good track for us. I think it's because our engine is not that good. So Edu has pitted and gone to the back. Balcazar has pitted. Yeah, we're not racing with Balcazar anyway. We need to get past Lundquist, De Wolf, and Schmidt. Those guys are messing up our strategy. Unless they can take points off Bergman, Liponen, etc., they are not doing that well. And Liponen is a good driver. Like he is always competing with the big guys up front. Yeah, I can see that. Our former driver is actually spoiling the show for us. Come on. Get past Lundquist. Okay, back up a bit on the fuel. And I think we should probably let Surikov pass him. Because his lap is getting wrecked here. So we need to get 14 laps and then we are on target. At least with Cristiano. Don't twist is going really long here. Come on, push a bit on the fuel again. Stay close to Lundquist. What can we do? Uh, uh, I don't want to use team orders, man. He's right on top of him. He is struggling here. Should we let him pass? Hey, Lundquist has actually left them behind. But Lundquist is spitting. Somebody crashed. Zach Hamilton. Yeah, not that important for us. Anyway, Lundquist spitting should make our life a little easier. Yeah, I can see your tire wear. This is lap 13. Okay, we'll pit him this lap and also give okay so this is lap 13 yeah get him a fresh set of tires parts look okay pit stop should be fine sorry cough but he ease up a bit on the tires we'll pit him the next lap 
But he's got a lot of people now. Somebody is in the pits. Okay, good, good pit stop, good pit stop. He comes out 14th. He's just behind Lundqvist. Surikov, how is he doing? He's still holding off. Still holding on. Okay, let's pit him. 13 laps, 12. Okay, we'll do give him the medium. Fast, no chance of risk. Oh, careful. Nearly hit the teammate. But now we're back to the same problem. 12 and 13. Surikov is behind. Cristiano is not fast enough. Okay, what do we do here? We can finish to the end, but... I don't know if many other people will be pitting. And this does not look like a good race for us. At least at this point. Maybe we should have let Surikov pass him. We need a few more crashes here. And Lundquist is still ahead of us. Edu and Hashimoto are in the pits again for the second stops. No, only for Hashimoto. Edu, yeah, I do as well. So yeah, like I said, one stopping is the better idea here. So Rikoff, stay close to Cristiano, but I'm happy with this position. Sharp and Bergman have also pitted, but obviously they are much closer. We don't want Bergman getting ahead of us. Hopefully he shouldn't. A sharp is a fast car, so Sharp should be here. Now Lundquist should pit again. De Wolf. Yeah, Schmidt Leponen. I think they should pit again. Hard to say. Yeah, we're trying to look after the tire as well. Yeah, he's getting close to these guys. Good job. Keep pushing. Yeah, I know. Sharp has just gone past you. Just make sure Bergman doesn't get past you. Yeah, make sure Bergman stays behind you. Bergman. And Cristiano, you need to get ahead of Lundqvist. Balcazar is in the pits. Leponen is in the pits. Oh! That should have been a crash. Like a seven car crash or something. And somehow Surikov has managed to get ahead. What the hell happened there? Sharp has managed to get past. Who is 10th place? Bergman. What the hell happened there? The Lundquist has finally pitted. Like just keep Bergman behind you somehow. Even with a dodgy car he's challenging. So only Liponen is ahead. Somehow. And Schmidt should pit. Balcazar has also managed to get ahead. Bergman, eh? come on. Bergman should, should not get ahead of you guys. Come on. Come on, man. Why is Bergman so much faster? I believe they have the same engine as us. Come on, squeeze him out here, please. Okay, Bergman is stopping. Bergman is retiring. That is good. Temperatures are too hot here. Come on, people. Okay, I think 7 and 8 seems like this is 
where we'll finish. Only Lipponen is ahead. We are not too worried about De Wolf because we are not competing with De Wolf. And Lipponen should not score too many points more than us. Yeah. Oh wow, he's right up there. Oh man. So this is a lot closer than we expected. If we had a slightly better engine, we could have mixed it up with these guys. Because if 1 and 2 are miles ahead, then, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, they're all much, much closer. In fact, 1, 2, 3, 4 cars were very, very close. I guess overall not bad. Only Liponen managed to outscore us from our rivals. Bergman finished behind us. Edu finished behind us. Hashimoto finished behind us. Yeah, it's not bad. And Lipponen did not finish too far ahead of us, so overall, pretty happy with that. Ah, could this have gone better? Yeah, I think the early part where Surikov was stuck behind Cristiano, that may have cost us a lot of points, probably. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we should have let him pass, but he shouldn't have fallen behind at the start. So we scored 10 points and they scored 9, uh, Panther and Kitano, Bergman and where is Hashimoto? Hashimoto, Hashimoto, where is Hashimoto? Yeah, so 1.2, 0 points to Kitano. So Panther scored some points. Yeah, so 129. We are 8, 28 ahead this time. So we actually scored one more than Panther. Yeah, you just need to keep doing what we are doing. We are doing fine. 10 races done. Another 6 to go. If we keep this up, we should be fine. Consistent results. Try not to uh, score fewer points than the other two. And we will be fine. <sighs> yeah. Hopefully Surikov's form improves as well. And hopefully by the end of the season, we are in positive cash flow. Okay, interesting race. Nothing special, but still satisfying from a championship point of view. If we look at the next race in Canada, suspension, uh, rear wing engine. Now, if we had money, we should have invested in a better engine. That would have helped us out. But yeah, anyway, good result. And we are on target and we'll see each other for the next race in Canada.